Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face of my least expensive makeup. So last week I posted a full face of my most expensive makeup, which I'll leave linked down in the description box, but today we're going to do the opposite. So really quick, these are the products that I've got. And if you want to pause this video and leave a um, guess in the description of how much you think the full face will cost, then just go ahead and do that now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the full face. Oh, I already used my SPF and I used the Beat Shield from Crave Beauty and I actually don't have a drugstore primer. So I only have two primers in my whole collection and the least expensive one is actually just this one from First Aid Beauty. It's their Ultra Repair Primer and this retails for $30. So I think there was one other category other than primer where I actually didn't really have an affordable option I was surprised to see that. I feel like my skin really needs this primer today because it's a lot thicker and a lot more moisturizing. And I don't know if you can tell like the redness underneath my eyes, but I am having the worst allergies right now. I'm gonna have to use a lot more concealer today than I think I usually do. I've just got a lot of like bright pink underneath the eyes, so. Hopefully we can get that to work today. So my least expensive complexion product is actually not a standard foundation. It's a BB cream, but it's the Misha BB cream. I have this in the shade number 13 and I got this off of Amazon for around $9. I got this for the same reason I feel like most people try this product is because Jessica Braun talks about it a lot and it looks so good on her skin. So I wanted to try it. I really do enjoy it. The undertone of it, I know she had mentioned that it's kind of like a gray undertone and she's like, I don't want to say that because I don't want to scare it to scare you away, but it's so true. It has a gray undertone, but for my fair skin, for some reason, it just works out really well. I've got some blush swatches here. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I have two of um, the same blushes that are my least expensive. And so I was trying to figure out what color would probably go best with the eyeshadow today. So most of the times I will actually blend this in with my fingers first and then I'll go over it with a sponge. But my skin is so dry today that I figured I would just use the sponge and use a little bit more product because I don't want it to look cakey at all. This is the perfect product to use on a day like today because of how dry my skin is. So I think this will kind of be my saving grace. <laughs> for my skin. So you can see it just kind of evens out the skin tone. It doesn't provide a ton of coverage, but it is more like light to medium, I would say. So concealer is actually the other category that I don't have any affordable products from. This one's a high-end concealer from Rare Beauty and it is $19. I actually just finished up a concealer that I really liked. That was a drugstore one. It was the Flower Beauty Concealer. And I do want to get that again once I finish one of the concealers that I already have. So because I don't have a affordable eyeshadow primer, I just decided to use concealer to set the eyelids and I will use something later to put underneath the shimmers. That's a little bit more affordable, so kind of switching those products out for this video. So usually I go bronzer, highlight, and then blush, but my least expensive blush is actually a cream and then the bronzer and highlight are powders. So I think I'm gonna do my blush first. We'll see how this goes, but my least expensive blush is this one from Juicy Peng. It is the blush in the shade Strawberry, and this is $3. The least expensive bronzer that I own is this one from Maybelline. This is their City Bronzer. I have it in the shade 100 and it's $8. So the top of mine actually broke off, but all the same, it still works just as well. This used to be my favorite bronzer because I felt like it was the only one light enough that I could build it up without going overboard too easily. But I think it has been replaced because now when I use it, it seems a little bit too warm tone and it might just work better for me in the summer but it's definitely not my favorite. 
anymore. It comes off really warm toned and it's also been looking a lot more patchy lately, but I know I used to use a lot more powder underneath it. So now I just use my sponge and I find like that's the quickest way to blend it out. My least expensive highlighter is this one from Essence. It's the Pure Nude Highlighter and it retails for $5. I actually feel like I got this for more like $4 when I bought it. I think the price has gone up, but when I looked it up to see how much it sells for, it did say $5, so I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with this e.l.f. HD powder. This retails for $6. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, and I'm going to use this Milani Weekend Brow. This is my least expensive brow product, and it is $9. And first, I'm just going to use a spoolie and comb out my brows. And then I'm going to use this brush to create brow-like strokes as much as possible in the front. And then I just try and fill in where I'm missing hairs. But I don't really like to go too overboard. I mostly just use this product in the front of the brow. My least expensive brow gel is this one from Essence and it is $3. This is their lash and brow gel. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow next. So I'm just going to kind of blend out the concealer that's creased on my eyes. My least expensive eyeshadow palette is this little bite-sized quad from e.l.f. This retails for $3 and I have it in the shade Rosewater. So first I'm going to dip into the lighter matte shade and I'm just going to blend this out into the crease. While I'm working with this shade, I'm just going to go ahead and pinch that same brush and run it along the lower lash line. Next, I'm just going to use this larger blending brush without any product on it, just to kind of blend the top part in more with my skin color. So my least expensive kind of eyeshadow base product is just this NYX Glitter Glue, which is why I decided to use concealer underneath the matte shadow but I am gonna use the glitter glue for the shimmery shadows. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my finger and then put it on the inner part of my lid, but blend it out to the outer portion of it as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with the lighter shimmer shade and I'm gonna put this on the inner half of my eyelid. And I'm gonna go in with a deeper shimmer shadow here and put that on the outer half of my eyelid. And I'm gonna kinda of overlap it just barely on the edge of where I put that lighter shade to kinda of help them blend together, but they blend together very easily. So I'll go back in with the lighter shade and then bring that over the middle portion as well on top of the darker shade. And I just find that that helps it blend as best as possible. I'm actually not going to use the deepest shade in this palette. I've mentioned it before, but I don't really like it. Sometimes I will use it and just try and tap off all of the glitter in it to deepen up the outer corner, but day to day I don't really mind um, a lighter look. So I am just going to use some liner and then not worry about the darker shade. Before I put on the liquid liner that I'm going to use today, I'm going to go back into that lighter matte shade and just blend around the crease again to help that shimmer look a little bit better. I actually only own one liquid liner and it's this one from e.l.f. It is their H2O proof eyeliner pen and it's $6. It is like the best eyeliner pen. I have a big issue with um, liquid liners transferring onto the top of my lid and that drives me insane because you might not notice it and then like a couple hours after you've put it on you're out in the world about your day and you happen to see yourself in a mirror and you just see this like black line and it just, it doesn't look like it's meant to be there. Like you did graphic liner or something, but this one does not transfer on my eyelids and it's six bucks. So I really love it.
they're not perfectly even but then again when are they i'm just gonna roll with it my allergies are making my eyes water so much when i put that on so i don't even want to mess with it anymore i do however have this pencil liner and i am going to attempt to water my or to line my water line with this it's probably not the best idea with the day that i'm having with my watery eyes but this is the essence extreme lasting eye pencil it's in the shade 06 silky nude and it is three dollars another category that i don't have anything that's like super affordable or drugstore is mascara and it's because i don't have very many open but i do have this mini from urban decay it's their lash freak and it retails for 13 dollars if you have used this mascara, let me know down below what you think. I know that it's so polarizing and I'd be interested to know what you guys think about it. For me, it gives a good effect, but it is so high maintenance. And the second you put too much on, there's no going back. And for someone like me who really likes to kind of almost clump up the mascara, but really, really load it up, especially on the top lashes, I've had that happen one too many times where I just put too much on and then it is just clump disaster. It looks like you have four massive eyelashes. So I probably won't buy this one again. All right, for lips, my least expensive lip liner is this one from NYX. It is their lip liner in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. And it's just like a perfect nude for my lips. And it is $8. I was very surprised when I went through my lipsticks and found that I only had one drugstore lipstick and it's this one from All May. It's in the shade Worry Less and this is like my favorite lipstick. I'm almost gone with it. I actually just put it in my project pan because I think I've had it for a little too long and I want to try and use it up but it's it's really great and it's surprising that my favorite lipstick is drugstore but it's also the only drugstore lipstick that I have. I don't think I mentioned the price of this, but this is $6. My least expensive lip gloss is this one from LA Colors. It is their lip gloss in the shade Clear, and it is a dollar. Okay, and last product is setting spray. This is the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up Illuminating Mist. So I don't really use this to have more longevity of my makeup, but it does make it look very dewy and glowy, which I enjoy, especially on days when my skin's really dry like today. And this is $12. All right, now that I have used all of the least expensive makeup in my collection to create today's full face, if you haven't guessed, pause the video and leave your guess in the description box below. The whole face of my least expensive makeup was $151. So I think that's pretty good. You know, if you had to buy a whole entire face of makeup, obviously you could choose a lot less products than what I just used. And you could choose a drugstore version of the concealer, the mascara, and the primer. And that would save you a lot of money right there because even just the primer was $30. But, you know, I think compared to my most expensive face, you couldn't really tell the difference as far as, you know, I think at least the price between $151 and nearly $500 for the most expensive face. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know down below what you think about this full face of makeup and whether or not your guess of how much this would cost was close or not. And with that being said, that is all for me today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!